Summer's halfway over, the weather's getting unbearably warm, people going on vacation. Bungie's trying to fix their fucking game and the YouTube order can go fuck himself. <laughs> Pretty much all the things you expect from this time of year. So on Tuesday, Bungie rolled out their latest update with sandbox changes and of course the new prestige raid layers. You know, Eater Worlds only came out in fucking December and now the motherfucker's getting prestige. Oh, yeah, I ain't gonna get into the timing of this bullshit. All that being said, I got to run the prestige raid layers with the two main changes that they added. Arsenal, which seems to be a weekly rotating modifier that's gonna change, and the curated loadouts, which are gonna rotate what guns we're supposed to use in the raids, but it's gonna remain each week that you have to use a certain set of guns. Now, after completing all my characters, the two additions to the prestige mode, they really show the good and bad of Bungie's design teams. And the bad really highlights Destiny 2's ongoing issues, man. But let's start with the good stuff. I think this shit is fucking awesome. This feels like a prestige raid mechanic. This pushes people to using their guns strategically. And I like the idea of this. The way it works is you don't get ammo for your other two guns. You get a full clip of your primary gun and once you waste that out, then your energy weapon replenishes. After you wear out all your energy ammo, then you refill your heavy ammo. Go through your heavy ammo and then you go right back to kinetic and you cycle over and over and over again. I think it's fantastic. I think it makes you pay attention to your bullet inventory and it actually has you planning two steps ahead to the next phase of the encounter. When do I need my heavy? When do, can I use my kinetic? Should I use energy to burn this guy's shield down? Does my energy weapon reach this far? It is a great modifier for the prestige raid layers. I actually would like this across all the high levels of content. Prestige nightfalls, maybe some heroic strikes if they wanted to throw this in there. I think this should have been in every prestige raid. No, seriously, this is an absolutely fantastic mechanic because it eliminates a number of annoyances that players have when it comes to certain prestige mechanics. For example, heavy ammo runs. Almost all the time when you wipe from an event, what do you need to do? You need to go get heavy ammo from somewhere. Or as you're wiping the event, you have to go run and find some purple bricks on the floor. This one, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is waste your ammo. And sure enough, you'll have your heavy ammo right there waiting for you. Another thing that it does, it actually changes what you use when it comes to certain exotics for your characters. In particular, the Warlock with their Luna Faction boost. Luna Faction boost are fucking awesome. <laughs> Anybody who uses that shit, oh man, you know how fucking awesome it is. But with this modifier, Warlocks drop their Luna Faction boots. Titans actually use their large wall in PvE for the first time, which is something we don't commonly see. It gives you this oh shit moment when you need one more bullet and you just ran out and you need to switch. This is a strategic change. I like it. It's challenging. But at the same time, it's a puzzle for players to constantly solve during the raid. This is a fantastic way of adding something to the prestige mode that is puzzle and mechanically oriented without adding a puzzle and mechanic to the actual raid. I think this was a good move. I think this was an excellent move, matter of fact. And it's something I would love to see across all the prestige raid layers. Now, I know this is going to be recycled out. We're not going to have this next week. But this should be the main mechanic. This feels like prestige mode from start to finish. The problem is the curated loadouts are all fucked up. I mean, this alone is the biggest problem that the community has been playing about with Destiny and all of their games. It's restrictions going all the way back to Destiny 1 and it really puts all of Destiny 2 problems into perspective. It shows just how many flaws this game really has. And look, I get it. I get the logic. I know why Bungie added this in. They want us to use different weapons that we don't normally use. They don't want us to constantly use the Nameless Midnight, Better Devils, Midnight Coup. However, there are reasons why we use certain guns and you throw all of that out of the window with this fucking idea. But aside from the gun issues, which we're going to talk about in a couple seconds, the biggest issue that I have with this is that it's mandatory. Aside from your power level and completing the normal version of a prior raid, there has never ever been lockouts to a raid it does not matter which raid it has been from destiny 1 to destiny 2 as long as players bought the dlc license and you were high enough level to get into that raid you can do your prestige raid provided that you beat the normal raid now if you don't have a grenade launcher you can't play if you don't have an energy smg you can't play this literally locks you out because you don't have something. And what I can't understand is why weren't the curated loadout something optional? 
optional bungee, something players can choose if they want to participate in, sort of how we have challenge mode. Right now, if you go through the Leviathan, or you go through any other prior raids in Destiny 1, you had an option to beat the boss in a certain way. You could do the throne challenge against Kallus. You could beat the Pleasure Gardens the way that they had with challenge. You could go all the way back to Axis and work on that challenge. And if you didn't want to do any of these challenges, you could skip it. And in the end, you didn't get the full reward. Why is this shit mandatory? We already had Arsenal going in, which is fucking fantastic. So why do we need a secondary mechanic to the Prestige? And one that literally locks you out of content. If people wanted to participate in the curated loadout, they should have had the option. And then at the end of the raid, they get the 400 gun weapon or whatever the hell it is that's the reward right now. Instead of being forced into using this, you could be able to still participate in the prestige raid with whatever guns you want. However, when you get to the boss, if you did not participate in the curated loadout, you're not gonna get the top reward. That's how this should have worked. Not this bullshit where it locks you out completely at least giving the players a choice doesn't run into some of the other issues that this game already has but now you push us down this path we have to follow this path in order to get into the raid to begin with and then on top of that the guns that you give us and the loadout is utterly fucked up now here's the main issue that we've seen when it comes to certain guns when you lock out 70 percent of our weapons 70 percent of our arsenal why do players want restrictions we have never wanted restrictions. The one thing that the community has always railed against almost on every single issue are restrictions. Players do not like having the only two attunements per subclass. They don't like, okay, pick the top or pick the bottom option. They want to have different choices like we had in Destiny 1. Players hated the timers on Nightfall because it led to a speedrunning mentality instead of killing all the enemies. Players want intellect, discipline, and strength back. We want random rolls back, which we're going to be getting in a few weeks, which is the next DLC. We don't want fucking tokens. We don't like the two primary gun system. Again, that's going to change. But across the board, we have rejected restrictions. So why the fuck is the mechanic to the highest level of content the most restrictive of all? It's the exact fucking thing we have railed against for an entire year now. And then the worst part about this, the fucking loadout. If you told me the pulse rifle, SMG, and grenade launcher was going to be your loadout for the Crucible, I'd be like, let's fucking kill this shit. But instead, you give it to us in PvE? I'm like, hell no, motherfucker. <laughs> if I was told I had to use Vigilance Wing, the Death Adder, and play of the game, I would be perfectly happy going into that loadout with the Crucible. But instead, you're telling me I have to go kill Argos and Baokaur with this shit? Get the fuck out of here, man. This is something complete bullshit right here. Because the problem is that for all of these months, for almost an entire year, Bungie has been laughably slow at making sandbox updates. I mean, there's still three kinetic guns that people want to use. Nameless Midnight, Better Devils, Midnight Coot. That's it. Those are the main three. Anything outside of those three can certainly get the job done, but those three kick ass. I know they don't want us to constantly just use those weapons, but why aren't the other ones buffed? Why aren't some of the archetypes even buffed as well? I mean, you could give us a decent pulse rifle. You can have something rival the Graviton or the Vigilant Swing, but instead, all the pulse rifles in PvE especially are just not that good. I mean, those slow-firing pulse rifles do absolutely nothing. A 26-bullet SMG that sprays all over the place like a child pissing in the toilet for the first time, that does nothing in PvE. And aside from the Colony and the Prospector, grenade launchers are hilariously awful compared to rockets, snipers, and shotguns. Yet, this was the very first chosen loadout, and it's simply to make us use guns that we don't use. And the reason why we don't use them is because the sandbox updates happen so infrequently that they're just not viable at this point. If gun updates occurred more often, and they changed the meta on a routine basis, maybe, maybe this idea of curated loadouts can work, but given the sloth pace that Bungie moves that change in the sandbox, forcing us to use bad weapons for the sake of variety sums up pretty much everything that's wrong with their decision that the variety that players want. Then on top of that, you get into the vendors, right? We got a hint before the Prestige Rays were released in the weekly update that we're probably going to need a kinetic pulse rifle. So players could have taken the hint, gone out there, got a decent pulse rifle. But how? Spend 200 tokens at Zavala hoping for the Nightshade? Grind your ass off in the Iron Banner hoping for Time Worn Spire from Saladin? Hope to fuck a vendor sells a pulse rifle during their weekly rotations? Now for me, 
I'm a collector or a hoarder like people like to say. <laughs> so I had multiple options. I had all my shit in the vault, so I just had to go in there and find something to pick. But for some people who only keep what they need, this loadout was something people don't hold on to. Because again, gun viability, as I just mentioned, had this been the Antiope and the Graviton land setup, people would have had that shit. But if you ask the community what's the best energy SMG at this point, how many people would even know the fucking name of an energy SMG? <laughs> Aside from the Ikelos one, who the fuck is going to name an SMG in this goddamn game? If you ask people what's the best grenade launcher in the game, you will get two answers. The Colony and the Prospector. Then you ask them what are the two best legendary and they wouldn't have a fucking idea. At best, they might say the Iron Banner one and the Crucible one, but they suck compared to the Colony. Without actual vendors selling shit, people resorted to tokens and gunsmith parts hoping for something decent and hoping it dropped at a decent power level so that it wouldn't drop them down too far for some people they had to just grab whatever and instead of finding out what the top weapons are in each category they got stuck with this shit now bungie has said that over the course of a couple weeks that they're going to be rolling out some decent loadouts and that there's one week that's gonna be oh absolutely we have to do this and then another week that's like oh no this is actually just too hard to do but it's like why do you do that why bother forcing people into content and locking them out if they don't want to play your way? Why do you give us this entire arsenal of weapons to use, but in the end you say, nope, you can only use this 10% in this actual activity, and if you don't use it, we're not going to let you play it. That's just bullshit. All they had to do with this curated loadout shit to fix this problem was make it optional. That's it. For those who want to participate, you can. For those who don't, but you still want to do the prestige raid layer with all the guns that you've been used to doing at the higher level content and having to deal with arsenal, here's what you can use. But instead, they fucked around, they added this stupid ass fucking mechanic that should not be mandatory in the game, and the result is locking people out of content without even giving them a chance to join this shit. This was an incredibly stupid fucking move. It's one thing if you're locking people out because they haven't completed the normal raid. But to lock them out just because they don't have an energy SMG, really? That's what this game has come to? You want people to play this game over the summer and you lock the motherfuckers out? Come on, Bungie. You should know that at this point, people do not want restrictions. It just doesn't work in this style of game. You want people to use everything. You brag about being able to use as many weapons as possible and then you don't update them. We get a crappy sandbox. We get fucking kinetic pulse rifles in the goddamn raid layer. This is such bullshit, man. Arsenal, awesome choice. Absolutely one of the best things that I've seen you add to the prestige layers. Curated loadouts went in the opposite fucking direction. It makes you not want to play this shit for those who can actually get into the content. As much as this shit annoys me, I'm going to continue trying to run as many prestige raids layers as possible because obviously I want to collect as many 400 weapons. Plus... That upcoming Solstice of Heroes events is going to require people to actually do the prestige raids. So naturally, I need to have a number of completions to be like, hey, I beat this shit. <laughs> because I'm fucking LFG in all these goddamn raids, man. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in the next video.